I've decided that over the next few days, I'm going to be as productive as possible. I've got so much to get on with and I'm going to bring you along with me to show you what I do. It's currently almost one o'clock. I've actually got to jump on a meeting for my new job. It's crazy to say that I have a job. Honestly, it's like surreal, but yeah, I've got to have a quick meeting. I think it's just a half an hour one. Then I'm going to go to town, do some shopping. So I'll bring you along for that and we're going to be as productive as possible. Maybe this video will motivate you to be productive too. So let's go. I can't sit at my desk because it's like a scorching hot day and my desk is in my conservatory. It's so hot in there that you will pass out the second you walk in. Anyway, my meeting's about to start, so let's go. is to repot this plant because it's dying the soil has all dried up i'm also going to give it some fertilizer as well now i've never done this before so it's going to be a bit of a learning curve but let's get started went very successfully i'm really happy with how it looks now i'm hoping it will now start to grow some new leaves and stop going yellow because i think it does that when it hasn't got enough nutrients so it starts like sponging the nutrients from its leaves back into the roots anyway it's now dinner time i is that the time already? Oh my god. I'm gonna have a tuna mayo, jacket potato with sweet corn, red peppers, cucumber, and some mini sausages. Then I'm gonna do a few more productive tasks in the evening. Maybe do some journaling, go to the shop, and do some tidying up because it's not looking super clean over there. Or in my bedroom. There's clothes everywhere, but I'll get to that later. Tomorrow, I'm also going to Cadbury World, which is so random. The most popular chocolate we have in the UK is Cadbury, and they have this big, like, immersive experience in Birmingham where you can go and see how the chocolate's made. It's really random, but yeah, I'm going there. I'm more sort of being productive today than tomorrow. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's go make some dinner. doing some journaling i would usually do this in the morning but i've noticed recently with my new job and just having more on my plate i haven't always had time to do the journaling in the morning which is a good and a bad thing because i do like to keep my routine the same as much as i can each day obviously i do have to be aware that that can't always be the case and things do get in the way having a job does keep me really busy which i'm really grateful for and i'm really really enjoying having a purpose i am just having a peppermint tea and sitting here and watching the world go by before it gets dark it's currently like nearly nine o'clock so it gets dark around half nine at the moment which is so nice it's just really relaxing to sit here and listen to the birds and to look at the sky and the sunset i'm enjoying it for anybody wondering my current journaling routine is i sort of spread it out into different categories i will do a small category that says how am i feeling today and i'll write down either how i felt throughout the day or how i'm feeling when i wake up then i do what am i doing today so i kind of have a plan of things to keep me busy and then five things i'm grateful for today i find this bit really helpful because i'm 
trying to rewire my mind to be positive automatically. And then I also do mantras for the day to so remind myself it's all gonna be okay. And just things to keep me feeling calm because I do have a tendency to sort of overthink and get anxious really quickly. So doing this every day is really helpful. I'm just gonna drink this and then I'm gonna go inside and do some editing. Oh, I said I was gonna tidy up my clothes, but I can't be bothered. I'll just do it tomorrow when I get back from Capri World. I'm gonna have some pudding. I'll show you what I've made. It's this thing called a s'mores slice. I came up with it the other day. It's a cheesecake biscuit base. Then instead of a natural cheesecake filling, it's just marshmallow fluff. It's so good. And then chocolate ganache. And on the top, I put marshmallows, biscuit crumbs. It's so good. When you see it, you're gonna be drooling. So I'll catch up with you again later. Hey guys, it's currently Sunday. I realized I didn't really get much of a chance to check in with you guys yesterday because we went to Cadbury World, as you will have seen, and then we went back to my boyfriend's parents' house. We had a takeaway, and then it got really late. It was about 10 o'clock by the time we got home, so I kind of just had to write the day off regarding productivity. Today, I'm gonna go to my local garden center and get a new plant because, unfortunately, this one, not really looking its best. I'm not really sure what happened to it. The problem is with some plants is they don't actually tell you how to look after them. So you just sort of buy this plant and there isn't really any instructions and then ultimately the ones that have no instructions do then die so i'm gonna maybe try and find one today that does have instructions because that would be helpful anyway i'm gonna head off now and i'll catch up with you again when i'm at the garden center before i go into my nan's who wants to see my new glasses because i have to wear glasses now to drive in the dark because i can't see anything pretty much here they are i actually think they look quite good i picked the cheapest ones although i'm gonna be honest they kind of make my vision worse I don't know if that should happen. I don't know if I should take them back. Because basically they said I was like very minutely long sighted, which means I can't see things up close a tiny bit, but I'm literally fine. Like nothing is blurry to me, nothing. I think the eye test got botched up because my lens kept um, blurring up. And it was because I was so stressed and nervous that it kept steaming up. And I think that like tampered with the results. I just got home from going to the garden center. I didn't actually end up getting any plants. I couldn't really find one that was right and there's no point just wasting my money on one that isn't 100% what I'm looking for. We have actually got a thunderstorm starting here right now. Can you hear that? That's the thunder. I do find them kind of scary. We are meant to be going for a walk tonight, but that is now storm dependent. I'll keep you updated, but I'm gonna go make my dinner now. Can you hear that? Really loud. Oh yeah, there's definitely a storm. Look at this. There it is. I'm just gonna take 
get my makeup off and get ready for bed and also thought I would end the vlog here. I just made my cookies. I made chocolate chip and Smarties cookies. Really, really good. Before I go, I thought I would quickly tell you what book I've been reading at the moment and that has been Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, which is the fourth book in the Bridgerton series. It's not my favourite book of the four, I'm going to be honest. I'm really struggling to get into this one. I just don't know if I love Penelope and Colin's love story there I said it. it might be quite controversial I just think I preferred Benedict and Sophie and Anthony and Kate I'm about halfway through this book as well and it's just not gripping me as much as the other ones did I'll let you know how I feel about it when I finish it who knows maybe my opinion will change I do also feel like right now I'm gonna be honest I'm kind of lacking inspiration for my vlogs the problem is they don't really get many views I feel like when you're not obviously succeeding in something it's quite hard to stay motivated and not give up and obviously I do this on a weekly basis but it doesn't really feel very rewarding at times. I'm not really sure what kind of videos to make. I don't really know which ones you guys prefer. I won't give up. I'm gonna keep filming and posting for you guys once a week every Sunday but I just sort of need to get that motivation and inspiration back really. But anyways I hope you did enjoy this vlog. Thank you so much for coming along with me and spending some productive days with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in next week's video. Mm -hmm.